Hey guys, welcome back. I recently got a new plane, and this is it, the R2-Y2 V1. And so far I'm really liking this plane. It's, uh, it's a fun jet. So let's see, this is a map on New Guinea. I'm just gonna... It comes standard with the 800 kilogram bomb, so I'm just gonna use that to earn some points, kill a light cruiser. May as well get rid of the weight, earn some free RP. Nothing wrong with that. So, boom! Perfect hit. So I've got rid of that weight. Now I can start hunting some planes. So over there I see a dot. So I decide to turn towards it, see what it is. Uh, it's F8F and he's coming straight at me. So I decide I'm going at 600 kilometers per hour. So I decide I'm just going to go up. I don't think he'll have enough energy to follow me doing this. He actually gets pretty damn close because the F8F is one of the best planes for prop hanging. So. It was a bit of a risk, and he does get some hits there, as you can see. Thankfully, it does no damage. And now he's stalled out, and I can come down on him, and... Oh, get wrecked. Very nice. <laughs> so this thing has four 30mm cannons in the nose, and that is why it made such short work with that Bearcat. And I like the Japanese 30mm cannons, I always have. And if you have four of them and this much ammo, there's a lot you can do. And uh, it's, it's really nice. So the armament, armament is definitely a plus point of this plane. So at this point, I'm trying to fly over towards my teammates. I see these guys, but there's three guys chasing one P-80, so I decide I'm not going to go there. Instead, I'll go towards the, the key 200s who are engaged. See if I can find anything interesting. F-80's coming in, but he's going for that other group. And I see a dot up there, there we go. That's something I'm interested in. A four engine bomber. Another good test of the guns. And also, I'm tempted to go after this P-80, but I decide, you know what, this B-17. He's an easy target. He's at a higher altitude, so I'll take him down first, and then I can always dive down later. So, let's see. And uh, there we go. Wings are off. Yep, I like these guns. So this plane right now is completely stock, I have no upgrades for it, so this is the default ammo belt, and no engine upgrades or anything, so what you see is what you're going to get if you just get this plane. And it's uh, it's an interesting plane, it has, because it's a jet, they generally have good energy retention, and this is pretty much true for this thing also, but it, it accelerates pretty damn slow. I mean, I'm barely gaining any speed. <laughs> Eventually you will, but it's not exactly fast. I mean, I've had Focker Wolves that can keep up with me pretty much in later games. But it is very maneuverable for a jet, and those those four 30mm cannons also make up for any other weaknesses. So pretty much I think what the tactic is, is if you have a jet, you can turn fight it. If you're facing a jet, you can turn fight it. And if you are facing a prop, try and run away from it. Lead him to a teammate, or use other tricks. But don't turn fight props, please. So as you can see, this P-80, I can just turn around 180 degrees and come right on his tail. And take some shots, miss, miss, miss. And prepare to cringe a lot, because I am going to miss a lot of shots coming right up. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. Usually my aim is pretty good, but this time it just, I just couldn't hit this guy. And he's doing decent defensive maneuvers. And that shows another weakness of this plane, the roll rate. As you can see, this P-80 can roll a lot faster than me. So keep that in mind. If someone starts rolling, try not to follow the rolls too much, because your slow roll speed will get you in trouble. So you can see, I'm just gonna level out a bit, wait for him to s calm down, and there we go. Flew right in front of my guns and blow him up. So now I see there's an F-84 coming in from behind, so turn around. And as you can see, I'm turning around, but I'm barely losing any speed, so... That's definitely one of the strengths of this plane. So dodge his head on, go up, and try to loop up onto his tail. That was my plan. And because he's in, Ameri in an American jet, of course he's gonna turn fight. I, I don't understand it, but P-80s, F-80s, they will... And I guess F-84s also, they will always turn fight you. I don't know why, but 
I mean, I've seen P, uh, P80 and F80 and a Meteor all turn fight at N1K. I mean, they'll turn fight anything, so. Here we go. I'm just getting on his tail slowly. Here we go. Now I'm really on his tail. And he starts doing some weird maneuvers. That's fine with me. I'll just close the distance a little and blow you up. Thank you. Bye bye. So that's my fourth kill already. So this is this was my absolute first game in this plane. And already I had four kills, so I'm I was impressed. <laughs> this fat little plane is gonna be fun. And here's an F80 coming in from the side, and this is where I make my fatal mistake. I should have dived down a little bit more, and I, I just didn't pull any good defensive maneuver there to dodge his shots, and he got a hit on me. And I'm burning, and I won't stop burning. Usually a jet, once they start burning, they won't stop. Same is true for this plane. So it's it's game over for me. I've lost tail control, so time to bail out. Eject, eject! So there goes my little pilot. He lives to fight another day. And now it's just up to my teammates to try to finish these guys off. There's, uh, I think, three players left. But we're gonna skip ahead. There we go. Yeah, three enemies left. But we're gonna skip ahead to the end. Because I didn't feel like watching it from spectator mode. So, skip ahead. So here the game has ended because the last FAD decided to go head on with not one but two N1Ks. So that was eight 20 mm cannons shooting at him, and surprise, surprise, he died. Anyway, here's the results screen. I got almost 7,000. No, I got 7,000. 7,200 research points towards my next plane, and f about 4,000 for the modifications. So very good game for the first game in this plane. I'm impressed. So this is the second game that I played in this, and this is on uh, the other map, <laughs> Guadalcanal, I think. I think it's Guadalcanal. Anyway, we found an F8F, so he's diving on my teammate, so I'm going to chase him. I still have the bomb right now. I was hoping to bomb something with it eventually, but let's see. Okay, F8F breaks off. I'm not going to follow that. I'm not going to follow that either, so leveling out, go full speed, and gains of separation. Because you don't want to turn fight F8Fs in this. Even though this is a good turning jet, I don't think it's going to win a turn fight against an F8F. I don't know for sure, but better not to anyway. You want to keep your speed up if you can. So I've turned around now, heading back into the action, got some altitude again. And our G8N1 over there is getting attacked, G8N. So I'm going to try to swoop behind this guy, take him out. So here we go, diving. And here I decide, you know what, screw this bomb. I don't need you. And get on this guy's tail, he's busy shooting the G8, and so I shoot his tail off. As he's dying, he almost kills me, here he goes, whoop. But thankfully he didn't get me, otherwise that would have been uh, a shame. <laughs> so there's a P-80 incoming. But he's chasing the other R2-Y2. Let's put him on fire. I see he's not chasing me, so I'm free to turn around. See if maybe I can get some shots in him, or get, get on his tail or something. So there we go. A decent angle, but I can't, can't get any hits on, and he's, he's fast. I think the P-80s and F-80s are a lot faster than you in the R2-Y2. The only problem is most of the time they decide to turn fight you, but if they want to run away, they usually can. But okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not following him because I don't want this F-8F to get too close. This other R2-Y2 decides to turn against the F-8F, I'm not sure why. Maybe he had no other option, but he gets killed for it. So I'm just going to climb up, gain some energy, see if I can get at anyone else. I see this P-80 coming for me again. 
so I decided, you know, if you want to go heads on with three, I mean four 30 millimeter cans, go ahead. Put some shots in and try to dodge, but he's also dodging. And there you can see one of the weaknesses of this plane, as I was trying to dodge away from the head on of the P80, is that because of the slow roll rate of this plane, it's a little bit hard to do that. So you gotta keep your mind on that. So F8F is trying to chase me down, but I know F8F, so they bleed a lot of speed if they turn like that, so he'll never catch me. And he breaks off. Two teammates there crash into each other or something, so remind me never to join that clan, PLSH clan. Yeah. Anyway, again, doing my usual trick, gain some separation, gain a bit of altitude, and then come back into the fight. See this P80. I want to. I want to take out the P80 first. He's probably the bigger threat. So let's see what happens. I'm slowly catching up to the P80. It's gonna take a little while because this plane isn't exactly super fast. Pitch off a bit, making sure that F8F doesn't try to pitch up at me, but he's not. And then the P80 is coming at me now, so he's actually going for my other teammate, which allows me to just hold it off a bit and then slot right on his tail. And here we go, perfect shots, lined up, and there we go, wing on fire, and kill him. So now turning around, let's see if we can get rid of this F8F, but he sees me coming. So he breaks down. I put a few shots and I do actually hit him, but it doesn't kill him. So that's too bad. Again, keep your speed up, gain separation. But my teammate in the R2Y2, he's, he's going to get the drop on him first. So as I'm turning around, we'll see that we go F8F critically damaged by the R2Y2. So I don't have to join that fight anymore he's dead. So, time to find some more enemies. I figure they're over there by the J7W1. So turn around and head that way. Yep, there's three enemies left. So, we're going that way. See if we can get someone else. So we're just flying along, and there we go, F8F spotted, but he's he's dying, set on fire, completely damaged, and he's dead, but there should be some more. Here we go, F8C. So I'm above him, he's coming kind of towards me, so I'm going to wait a bit, wait a bit, and then dive on him so I can get on his tail. Hopefully I timed it right because otherwise he's going to outrun me if I wait too long. But I seem to have gotten it just right. So getting some hits in, but again, you can see his roll rate is saving him here because I can't roll that fast at these speeds, and he can. So instead I go up a little bit, otherwise I'd overshoot him, I don't want that. So Instead I go up and then come back down. And I can catch up to him again, so now I'm just going to wait patiently until I have a good shot at him. I'm closing the distance. So I'm just waiting. Just taking my time. I mean, I have enough ammo, I could spray at him, but. Just make him feel nice and safe, and there we go. Take his wing off. So. He is going down. There we go. He's dead. That's my third kill. So, my second ever game in the R2-Y2, I get three kills. First game, four kills. So, I I think this is a pretty good plane. It has some very good strengths and some weaknesses, but overall, I'm impressed. It's a fun plane to fly. It handles very nice. Got lots of ammo, so it's, it's great. I really like it. So we're going to have a quick look at the results screen. This was again my first match as a Japanese of the day. 
Actually, the second match of the day, the first one was B-57s, so they bombed out our carrier really quickly. But this is my first victory, and we earned about 7,500 RP. So it's a good game. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.